So this is a equation solving problem and this is a relatively easy problem. In this case you have been given three equations. The first equation is xy is equals to 35. Second is yz is equals to 56. And the third one is ZS, zx is equals to 40. And then you have to solve for x, y and z. So let us call this equation as equation 1 and this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. So how will you solve this problem? There can be many methods to solve this problem. One easiest method will be you multiply all these three equations. So if you multiply then left hand side you will have x, y multiplied by y, z multiplied by z, x and the right hand side you will have 35 multiplied by 56 multiplied by 40. Now see on the left hand side you have 2x, 2y and 2z. This means this becomes x square, y square, z square and this is equals to you can factorize 35. So this is 7 into 5. 56 is how much? 8 into 7 and 40 is 8 into 5. Now I will use a rule of power. If you remember, if you have something like this, that is a raised to the power m, b raised to the power n, then this can be written as ab raised to the power mn. So this is the rule of exponent. So I will use this rule of exponent here. So this thing can be simply written as x by z whole square. And if you look closely this side, you have 2, 7, 2, 8 and 2, 5. So this will be equal to 7 square, 5 square and 8 square. Now in the next step, you can do the same rule to the right hand side. Then this becomes 7 into 5 into 8 raised to the power 2. So from here you can see that x, y, z is equals to a square root of this number that is 7 into 5 into 8 whole square. So you will have plus minus. So x by z is equals to plus minus 5 into 7 into 8. So this is the product of numbers. So now I know product of numbers then I can take any one of the equation to find the possible values of other variable. So let us say if I use equation 1. So if I use equation 1 then equation 1 is x y is equal to 35. So now I can plug the value of x y which is 35. So this is 35 times z is equals to this is 5 into plus minus 5 into 7 into 8. So I will have z is equals to plus minus 8 because 35 will get cancelled out. So now we have two cases. The first case is plus 8 that is case 1 that z is equals to plus 8. So if z is equals to plus 8 then you can calculate from equation 2. So from 2 I can say by z is equals to 16, 56 and z is equals to 8. So this means y is equals to 7. Now from equation 3 that is xz is equals to 40. Now we have z is equals to 8. So this x into 8 is equals to 40. This means x is equals to 5. So in this case what are the solution? We have solution x is equals to 5 and y is equals to 7 and z is equals to 8. So this is one solution. Now the second set we can consider that is case 2. In this case 
we have z is equals to minus it. So if you remember z has two value plus it and minus it. So from two we can say by z is equals to 56 and z is equals to minus it. This means by is equals to minus seven. Similarly from three I can find value of x that is xz is equals to 40 and z is equals to minus it. This means x is equals to minus 5. So in this case what are the possible solution? You will have x is equals to minus 5 and y is equals to minus 7 and z is equals to minus 8. So for x by z we have two pairs of solution. The first pair is 5, 7, 8 and the next pair is minus 5, minus 7, minus 8. So these are two pairs of solution that is possible for this system of equations. If you want you can verify this also. You can put into the original equation and check whether this satisfies the original equation or not. So these are the three solutions and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends, like to this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.